there. Welcome to this playthrough of Until Dawn. I'm Manjo Bug the Gamer, aka Mandy, and I thought I would play this a little bit for you today. Um, this is by no means a professional stream. I obviously do not have a camera at this time or really a decent microphone. It's just for fun. It's just to play the game a little bit and just have a little bit of gameplay for you. Um, I have a lot of friends who are Xbox gamers and Switch gamers. And this is a PlayStation exclusive. Until Dawn is a relatively older game. I've played through it several times. I think I've beat it at least twice. But for this playthrough, I'm definitely going to be trying to keep everyone alive. <laughs> Emphasis on the word try. It it probably won't happen, but we're going to try, okay? So, uh, that's what I'm planning to do. If somebody dies, we're just going to keep playing the game. Uh, and also, the deals about collectibles. See right here, starting a new story will overwrite your, cur your current progress. I'm not going to worry too much about collecting uh, totems, which are the collectibles in the game. If I come across a totem, that's great, but I'm not going to be actively looking for them. This is just a pure playthrough, just a kind of a let's play. I'm just going to uh, react to things the way I would normally react. And I hope that you enjoy watching. And let's get into it, shall we? on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. this weekend. Josh. All right. 
Sorry, my dogs just decided to start barking. That <laughs> was not on the game. <laughs> I am playing in the middle of the night, and for some reason they decided to bark. So, let's just pretend they're part of the game. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt. Bet it. But I bet you're even better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Wink emoji, Mike XXX. That doesn't seem suspicious at all, does it? Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. I like her beanie. It's cute. Yo, wake up. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's see what this is. Jeremiah Cragg. Since 1794, it looks like. <laughs> Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Smooth. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt. What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand. Just but... a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit. Right, let's see how good I am at DP now. <laughs> it's been a while since I played this, so. I'm going the fast route. We're gonna go balls to the wall on this. I'll never get anywhere but playing it safe. Hmm, I think I'm gonna follow the footprints. You never wanna follow the noise. Really worry about it. Oh, 
move and we'll both walk faster. Let's walk faster, much more faster. Hello? Hello? Uh, I think we found our first totem. Which I think are a pretty cool elements of this game, honestly. Totem. That's not ominous at all, right? Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Hannah, is that it? doesn't end well for her in any case. So. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Sorry, people. You're probably gonna die. So. You have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Scarecrows scare the fuck out of me. So, how did that picture make you feel? I didn't Remember, like it. Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. No. I feel uneasy. Okay, 
honest to his gut. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. Ugh. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Mm. Yeah, why not? <laughs> huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? probably wouldn't care. <laughs> so, the scarecrow frightens you and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. Hey, the scarecrow I just creeps me out, bro. someone is not being entirely honest with me. Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? I actually really enjoy these segments because you really get into the psychological evaluation as it progresses and it's really cool. I actually quite enjoy these little segments of the game. Start the intro. And I really love the intro to this. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that 
will never forget. For for the sake of my sisters and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! until dawn. We've already got somebody watching us. Okay, so we got Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. walk on this path. Gates busted, time over. Thanks, Chris. Real helpful, bro. I don't oh, listen. Jesus, never mind. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to have to climb. Fine. safe, I suppose. for the game. Pretty sure anybody would have. <laughs> I just love the atmosphere of this game. Aww. Hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? This is sometimes pretty difficult. <laughs> Cutie. With some of the don't move your controller. I have a hard time with that sometimes. I guess I did all right on that, though. The squirrel liked me. So if anybody has played Until Dawn, um, just go ahead and comment who your favorite character is. I think you might be surprised at who my favorite characters are. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of backstory about the indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. 
Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. So we've got the death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. And fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. You don't see very many of the white ones, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, this would not be a horror game if you uh, only got white totems. But it looks like we got one right here, so... I was wondering why that wasn't working, but I got it to work somehow. <laughs> So we have a guidance totem here, and we can actually go and check them out and see what we've got. So we have the death totem, and uh, that came true, as we all saw. And we've got the guidance totem here. So yeah, you can re you know replay them, but we only have two right now, so. Alright, we're gonna go into here. Yeah, I already went through that tutorial. Thanks. Let's see, what's this? The past is beyond our control. Ah, uh, well, that is true. A little creepy there with the whole blood look going on, but. I gotta agree with that. That is a very valid statement. Chris, you here? Let's see. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. Have you held a trick? Here. Yeah, I never snoop. I'm going to close the bag. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. He thinks, anyway. <laughs> oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Okay, let's follow him around. Let's see what's glinting up here. Oh, oh we're gonna goodness. find a clue. I found nice. actually a lot of the clues. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? But I haven't Slice found all of them. Thought so. I'll try oh, to find his name again. Oh, come most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Yeah, it's abandoned, right? <laughs> oh, Chris. Yeah. So, there's 30 clues. But this is just for the mystery man, quote-unquote. There are several others. Mysteries that you can collect clues for. And, uh... I will do my best to... Yeah, my relationship status did change a little bit with Chris because I didn't snoop, so that's the way to do it. Alright, so let's go on back. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes.
Get my shoot on. Wow, nice shooting, Tess. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Not, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Yeah, I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel, actually. Definitely not gonna shoot at the squirrel. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. I wonder if Wait, anybody I'm actually the hang of this. shoots this Come on, Chris, the cable car. I can never shoot the poor little innocent squirrel. So that would never happen. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah. I swear, the moment I got here, it all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay, so we want to get in here, but we don't have key, right? After you. Oh, well, really apparently, we got in. in. <laughs> All right. Love how I'm just gonna walk <sighs> into the walls. Was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's right there, Sam. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night I have just some feels patience. Menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem, The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Some pervert watching the tub. <laughs> oh, there's that. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Blackwood Pines Hotel and Sanatorium. For a healthy body and mind. Fancy. Okay, did I see or look at everything that I could? I think I did. Okay. Alright. Go back out here with Sam then. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. 
Ah, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Okay, so we have Jess, Mike's new girlfriend. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I'm not quite sure how she thinks they're new because she was there last year, but you know. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Okay, well, I know this is pretty short, but I think I'm going to cut it off here. And it goes to her like that. Let's go to this page so we don't have to see that. But this was just part one. I will continue this for part two next time. Again, thank you for watching. And if you comment below who you like and... Uh, what kind of um, relationships you want me to form uh, just let me know I will give my opinion on the characters more as we progress in the story obviously we haven't gotten very far so um, I will let you guys know exactly who I like and who I don't like and like I said earlier I think you might be surprised at who I'm not a fan of so Thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good night.